This week's video is a biggie. It is the best drugstore makeup of all time. That means it's gotta be high performing. It's gotta be comparable to some of the higher end items that you might purchase at Ulta or Sephora or your local department store. And it's gotta stand the test of time. It's gotta last all day and it's gotta wear well. For me, there are a couple of key components for that. And as I've gotten older, my needs with drugstore makeup has also changed. Number one, I'm looking for pore minimizing. I have found over the years, especially around the chin, the pores have gotten a little bit bigger. And I notice that sometimes throughout the day, the makeup separates in that area. The second thing that I'm looking for is good coverage. So this makeup that I'm going to feature today, when I say high performing, I mean, this is makeup that you could wear at an event, out to dinner, at a wedding, it's going to last. I'm not doing the sort of natural BB look with the dewy and the balms and all of that. I'm strictly going for mattes, not drying, but a high finish and a high pigmentation. So I really want to let you know that everything we're using today has come from the drugstore and that includes the brushes. So first of all, I don't know if you've heard about this brand, Real Techniques. Take a look at that. It comes with a beauty blender and this one also has brushes for powders, cheek, contour, and whatnot. And then for the eyes, they have a complete eyeshadow set as well. So every area of the eye, the eyebrow, lid, and smudging along the lash line were covered here with the same product line. It's a super popular brand, incredibly affordable. I will list all products, all prices, and links for you in the description portion of the video. So if anything piques your interest, you'll be able to go straight to it and check it out for yourself. So let's launch in. I have to do a little unpackaging here. Okay, so I'm gonna pop out the Beauty Blender, which I'll use for foundation, a brush for powder, face powder, and then I've got options with blush, contour, highlight, and whatnot. And, and I, I love the colors. I just, I love the colors. It's all coordinated. Uh, the next thing I need to open up would be the eyeshadows. Et voila. Really well thought out. Kit. So now that we have everything, let's go ahead and start with the first product. And the first one is a primer. Again, my focus is on minimizing pores. So this is my choice for that. CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Skin Primer Pore Minimizing Primer. I'm just having pore issues. <laughs> I'm poor. <laughs> anyway. Um, you know, this is really a, uh, a nice feeling primer, very silky. It doesn't have that super strong silicone feel that a lot of primers can have to cut the shine. It glides on nicely. And most importantly, it's going to take care of the pore problem. A little extra right here on the chin. Okay. All time favorite drugstore <laughs> foundation. Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I am in between colors. This is Warm Beige and this is Sand Sable. So again, because I self-tan, as you can see, I'm a little bit warmer here than I am up here on my face. So I'm going to have to do a little pump of this and a little pump of that. But the coverage is superior, staying power, amazing. It's, you know, it's super hard to find that ideal match at a drugstore because you can't sample. So if you have to, and you know what, the price point is worth it, you get two and you just blend away. And so that's what I'm doing. The coverage is fantastic, but what I really, really like about this foundation, even though it's matte, it's not drying. And I know that is something that is super important of women of our age is that we don't want makeup that's going to feel cakey and settle into the lines. I am a little bit closer to the sand sable. So if your skin tone is like me and especially leading into the summer months, if you self tan, you may want to go just a little bit warmer. So next up is a eyelid primer. And this one is by e.l.f. 
and it's a primer that comes out in a wand. It's called Sheer. It has a slightly peachy pink tone it to help neutralize the skin color on the lid. But it's a great base for your eyeshadow. And you can, you can use fingers, by the way. You can use one of those brushes. I really love this primer because it lightens the lid a little bit. It's not too sheer, but it's not as opaque and whitening as some other ones. It really helps to bring those eyeshadow colors, just make them true to life. For eyebrows, you have seen this product featured a hundred times, I think, on this channel. It's the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. The shade that I'm using is Ash Brown. It's a hair lighter than the espresso that I normally wear but that espresso I really like more for evening looks when I'm punching the eye makeup up quite a bit and I need a bolder brow. For me, stepping it down to the ash brown is perfect for a more daytime look. And again, you just go in and it's like you're microblading your own eyes. It's a fine little felt tip pen, precision application. Just create a bottom border. And once you've done that, I start on the inside work my way out, and I just follow the growth pattern of the hair, and that makes it far more natural looking. As you can see, these hairs come at an angle, kind of a three-quarter angle from, from top out. So I'm just sort of painting it in like that, and it'll just look like a microbladed brow as opposed to a big block that you've just filled in. I have purchased so many of these throughout the years. It truly is a beauty all-star and a favorite in my book, hands down. Okay, now for the super cool, exciting part, we're going on to eyeshadow. And this is a brand that I absolutely love at the drugstore, and I know you do too, for a lot of reasons. Number one, the products are amazing. Number two, they're cruelty-free. They're, they're a cleaner line. Take a look at this beautiful eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. I tried to find one, again, all matte shades and various shades of neutral. Some are a little cool and some are warm. So depending on your skin tone, I think there's something in here for everybody. And so looking at what I'm wearing here, it seems to me that in this family, especially for the lid, will make the most sense. And then outer corner, the darker color. So I'm gonna use this largest brush that was in the eye brush kit. And I'm gonna go in and I'm going to use this medium color right here and start. It's a very pretty soft shade, kind of a mauve pink, very neutral, not too cool, not too warm, which is why I really, really like it. Beautiful color. I mean, you can almost wear this by itself with a little brow highlight and call it a day if you don't need any depth. But I do need depth, and a lot of us do. So I'm going to now start blocking in the outer corner. See this rust color right here? So these two, this rust, I'm gonna do a little bit in the outer third and then really deepen the outer lash line with this color. So here comes that more rusty tone. Kind of a rusty brown. And now, like I mentioned, the darker color for the outer part of the eye. This palette to me is a fantastic daytime makeup look. Very, very clean. You can go lighter, you can go darker, but these are just classic colors and just so, so flattering. This super, super light pink, second to right, I think will make a beautiful brow highlight color. So that's what I'm gonna go for. And it's perfect. It's almost like a super light cotton candy in a way. Same thing for inner corner. Okay, what I'm going to do now is move on to the eyeliner and I Absolutely adore for that. CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24 Hour Coal Eyeliner. The way that it goes on, there's no gripping, no pulling. It is smooth as silk. It's 24 hours, literally. It will not transfer. So this to me is a great liner for doing the top line of your eyelashes and, and your lid 
not top down, but coming from the underside. You could do a smoky eye with this. I have one in black. I also have one in brown, depending on your skin tone and how much liner you like to use. But in this case, I'm just going to top line. I'm just gonna hold up my lid. Come from underneath. And then just give a little bit of a wing out to the side. Now, for those of you who like a liquid liner, I wanted to feature this and I'll do it. I'll do a little, just a top outer wing as well. But take a look at this one. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir and it is a fine black tip pen. Great for doing that top line, that wing, if you like it, or even just hugging along your lash line without extending too far. You know, not a lot of us want that dramatic wing. Maybe it's just a little bit of a flick. So this makes that lash line look a little extra thick, but the importance is don't make that line too thick and really, really hug tight to those lashes. And that's what'll give you that really nice border without covering up the pretty eyeshadow work that you've done. And I'm just doing just the outer, let's say third. just to sort of strengthen that lash line and make it look a little bit thicker. So clearly I don't need to put on mascara, but prior to getting eyelash extensions, my absolute favorite drugstore mascara, probably no surprise, they've been top rated forever and a day. It's L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. It's been compared to a lot of the bigger brands that are out there. I could do a smudge in the lower lashes just to show you. That's so against what I normally do. But, all right, let's do this. Let's take, let's just, let's just get a little crazy, shall we? I'm gonna take kind of a mid-tone, sort of a slate color. Go in the lash line. I mean, if I'm gonna talk about it, I gotta demo it. Normally I don't wear bottom lash mascara, but the trick is just to wiggle and just hug it right close to the lid and don't pull it down so you don't get the spiders. That's enough. Sadly, I'm not demonstrating all this mascara can do, but trust me, if you want big, feathery, voluminous lashes, Lash Paradise is clearly the way to go. And I'm going to move on now to concealer. Are you wondering what's the all-time favorite here? It's another product by e.l.f. It is Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish, and I'm going for medium neutral. It does come in a matte finish, I'm a little hesitant in doing a super matte concealer for the very same reason that you are. You don't want something too drying settling in the line. So you can do something that's a little bit more hydrating for the under eye area, leave it alone, or if you feel it's a little too shiny, you can always set it with a translucent powder. But I just like personally having that kind of say and control over what's going on in my under eye area. So anyway, there you go. Comes with a wand. This is such an amazing concealer. Can you see that coverage? It's killer. I take the extra, just pull it down. You can go around your mouth, hit your chin a little bit. You can almost use it as a uh, highlighter. I mean, let me just tell you, to me, this is comparable to Tarte Shape Tape, okay? It is that good. Drugstore, e.l.f. And I don't find it to be too oily. I'm still going to set it with a powder, but if I didn't want to, I could go without. Okay, so speaking of powder, uh, this is the one that I'm gonna set it with. There, uh, there are two powders that we're going to use. So the first one is by Maybelline New York, Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. My shade that I'm using is light medium 20. This is a finely milled powder. It has been compared to Laura Mercier Translucent Loose, the one that I wear, except this one has a color to it. And I'm gonna use this with a brush and now set my foundation. 
great powder, immediately cuts the shine, but it's not drying whatsoever. The Maybelline Fit Me, this is the translucent pressed. This is a great powder to take with you in your purse to carry throughout the day. It comes with a little sponge applicator, has a mirror, and the powder. So I'm gonna use this because I like to set my concealer and get rid of shine. I'm just gonna tap a brush into it and just press that into the area where I concealed. I use translucent because I don't wanna add any color. All right, so we're moving on to contour and highlight. And again, another product by e.l.f. This is e.l.f. Contour Palette. What I really, really like about it is the fact that I've got a deep contour here I've got a nice bronzer, a little bit of a creamy, and a super, super light highlight. So it gives me a lot of options in terms of color. So for my contour, out of that brush kit, this is a great contour brush. I'm gonna go in with the dark, and, and don't be afraid to mix. If this is too dark and this is too light, you can just tap them both to get just the right shade. But it's a very, very nice contour color. Can run it down the side of the nose, the tip for a little sun. Don't forget your hairline. This is where I warm up my skin a lot just to tie it in with the um, self tan. Hit your jawline for a nicely defined jaw. If you carry weight up in here, you can even contour a little bit higher. So all kinds of neat tricks with contouring. For the highlight, let's go with this one, not super, super white. I just want a little pop right here on the cheek, a little bit on the tip of the nose, above the lip, the chin, and right here in the center of the forehead. Okay. Blush color, oh my gosh, I love Milani for blush, and they're so pretty. It's called Romantic Rose. It's a very, up close, it looked almost white and washed out, but it's really not as light as that. So, hit the cheek with that. Really pretty. Milani colors are great. Uh, another one to look into, and you know, this would be a runner up, is Burt's Bees, by the way. They make a fantastic blush line as well, and it's a clean product. Um, so it's really almost a toss up, but I just, I don't know. I just love the Milani shades. I love the size of this thing. It'll last forever and a day. Okay, so we are moving on to lips now. And again, a pencil that I featured a hundred times, it's by NYX. I love it because it is the perfect nude. In fact, it's called Nude Truffle. It's a pencil that I wear with almost anything except for like a red, but it's a great border color that I like to smudge and shadow. And so it's almost like you don't have a pencil there, but it gives sort of a great shadow border. So again, I don't like a harsh line, just more of a frame to work with. Okay, the lipstick. This lipstick has staying power. This lipstick ain't coming off on anything, and it is beautiful. This is Maybelline Super Stay in Matte Ink. This stuff will last an entire day. This lipstick color is number 60, Poet. It will not transfer. It comes with a wand and when you put it on, keep your lips separated, let it dry before you put them together. I wait about a minute. Okay, the lipstick has now dried and just let me show you something. I mean, barely any transference at all of that lipstick shade onto my fingers and this color won't budge. Not everybody feels comfortable with a matte lipstick. Sometimes things feel a little cracked 
and not everybody can handle that. I love the staying power of a great mat. I love the fact that I can eat and I can drink and nothing's, nothing's coming off. But if you do feel like you need a little bit of a gloss or something, let me feature this. And it's super pretty and it's one of those glosses that could go on top of any color. And it's by Milani and it's called Ludicrous. It's sort of a gold tone, sparkly, but it's not as pigmented as you might think. Let me show you something. I'm gonna put it on my hand. See it right there? It has a tiny, tiny bit of a gold shimmer to it, but not a lot. It's really providing a little bit more moisture and lubrication than anything. So if you felt the need, that's something that you could add just a tiny bit, especially in areas where you might feel a little dry. But again, if you can hold out and do the matte, I say do the matte. My runner up, by the way, in matte lipstick, it's a little bit more of a creamy matte. So if you can't handle that super matte finish, then I encourage you to check this product out. This is by Milani. It's bold matte. The color is called I Am Awesome. It's very, very similar to Poet that I've got on right now. So I wanna present this as an option. If you can't do super matte, you might wanna give this one a try. Here is, I am awesome. It's gonna be the bottom one. And then Poet will be up top. Here's the finished product of the best drugstore makeup of all time. The wear, impeccable. If you were to compare this makeup look to a high-end look, and I've done those before, you probably would look at the two videos and say, I can't tell a difference. And you know what? In this particular case, I can't tell a difference. Let me throw in a couple of little bonus features for you. Um, Alme is making a biodegradable long wear makeup remover cleansing towelette. So this is great to help remove makeup or to get it off your hands. I don't wanna get rid of my face, but I do wanna get rid of my hand and it got everything off perfectly. Another thing that I would like to share with you is a fantastic makeup remover. It's Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover for my eyes. Gets rid of even waterproof mascara. No oily residue, but when you have eyelash extensions, you have to be 100% certain that your makeup remover does not have oil in it. So this helps to get rid of the makeup. And my all-time favorite face wash now. I, I've discovered this not that long ago. I'm not halfway done with it because it lasts forever. This product's incredible. Talk about getting your makeup off, not leaving a trace, and making your skin feel super silky smooth and not dry. La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP Plus Wash. It's a gentle foaming moisturizing wash. Cleanses the body and face without stripping up to 24 hour hydration. Amazing. So between all of these products, they're phenomenal. One last thing, because we're not done yet, we gotta set it and forget it. Did you think I'd leave off a setting spray? Heck to the no. This one is by e.l.f. This is Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist up to 16 hour wear. And it's a very fine mist, so cover your, cover your hair. And that's it. And we are good to go. All time favorite. Drugstore makeup, man, oh man, they are up in their game. The quality is incredible. The price point, as you know, even more incredible. And I wanna show you a full face and I want you to see that you can feel beautiful. You can cover, you can conceal, you can enhance, you can go as full coverage as you want or as minimalistic as you want. There is something for everyone. Okay, I knew you were going to ask. All right, Dominique, how did it wear throughout the day? Well, this is after eight hours and I did not touch up the lipstick. Okay, now back to earlier. I figured this would have the most bang for the buck to be able to show you full coverage, mattifying all of that, but we could always do a round two and we can do a very dewy, natural, 
cream-based type of a finish and go that route um, with the drugstore products as well. So drop me a note down below in the comment section if that's something that you'd like to see, kind of a, a two-parter for all of this. Um, if you are not following me on social media yet, oh my goodness, I need you to be there. We have so much fun during the week. It's the best way for me to hear from you. I'm present always and so oftentimes that's where we get to interact. I answer your questions and, and you give me a lot of great feedback. So I appreciate that and I thank you in advance for being there. And of course, a huge thank you for being a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed yet, super simple. Just hit the subscribe button, enable all the notifications. And that way you'll be alerted via email every time I release a video. And that's Thursday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I would really, really love to have you as a part of this growing, beautiful, and amazing community of women who lift and support one another. And oh my gosh, you know, counting down to April 5th, the launch of Life Makeover, it's, it's almost there. It's, ah, it's amazing. Anyway, you'll be seeing a lot more about that on social media and ways that we can um, connect and special things that we get to do in that arena as well. So please go follow me and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Thanks for being here. Be bold and be blessed as always. Bye.